Welcome back to another episode of The Huddle. This week, we're out at Phoenix High School. And this week, we're joined by a very special guest, a longtime friend, Coach Hall. Thanks so much for joining us. How are you feeling? I'm doing great, ladies. Thank you for having me on. Of course. So let's just get right into mm -hmm. it. Coach, this has been a season that has been filled with victories, which is something that this program isn't used to. Walk us through the first win and then the second win and kind of how we're building off last week's loss. I mean, it's, it's been a very special year. It's, it's been a, a year, you know, delayed as far as I'm concerned, but, you know, we had to go through some growing pains for last year to, to kind of set us up for this year. And having a lot of players returning and have our entire coaching staff back from last year, you know, we, we made these, um, we laid the groundwork. We made some sacrifices last year, but to have the summer we did, the, the, the number of players that participate in our summer program programs, the level of, um, of just engagement, commitment, um, the way we competed against other teams around the Valley, which we haven't done before in sort of some passing league opportunities. You know, our kids were really prepared for that first game and above all, they're confident. Talk us through that after that first victory. The guys are in the locker room, you're there, your assistant coaches. Just <laughs> talk to us about the vibe and uh, the emotion, raw emotion in that locker sure. room. The post-game sort of celebration happens on the field. And I have to thank, you know, Coach Howard at SOU as I inherited, you know, that program. As you recall, ladies, you know, we really didn't go to the locker room at SOU either. We finished the game on the field, you know, we'd pick a spot on the field and we would, you know, kind of have a few words. The coaches would say a few things here. And then Craig instituted this tradition that I believe they still have at SOU called love honor respect and Craig always believed that the greater the love honor respect the greater the team and we've taught our players about those three values and after each game we talk about you know um, love honor respect and who would you give a shout out to that sort of embodies those three values our program is more than just you know going out there and winning games that these young men are really uh, committed and they're very honest about how they feel about each other and to throw the word love around to each other was, was really important for me to have the community witness that. Yeah, yeah I love that because that special. is kind of hard for guys to show emotions too so mm -hmm. I think that's great to get even Absolutely. football guys yeah. to be like hey I love you. <laughs> Coach coming into a program that has dealt with so much adversity mm -hmm. and sadness if you will how does it make you feel as a coach to have come in and in two years turn this program around and are still continuing to take it to the next level? I mean, you know, the, the win and the wins of the first two wins are, are definitely milestones in, in my estimation. You know, I don't know if I can say we've turned the program around because that is a process that we're still trying to overcome. I knew that was the task when I, when I, when I took the job here. You know, Brent Barry, our superintendent, you know, talked to me and I think, you know, I said, well, Brent says, you know, we talked and, you know, he was very positive about, you know, the opportunity. And I said, well, Brent, what do you want from me? You know, and especially in this first year, he says, I just want you to give this community and this school, you know, hope. I think we gave hope, especially more to the younger players who saw a great future if they stay with the process. And now that they have kind of embraced that and continue to work hard for, you know, the rewards of, of victory, um, I think we've, we're on to something, but it's just got to be sustainable. We got to win on the road. We got to win against a good team. We got to come from behind against a good team and pull out a win. Those are what we call min meaningful wins along the way that can be program builders and program changers. Coach, this football program is something unique compared to other football programs around the Valley. I spoke with Coach Robinson the very first year that um, he was here, and he told me that a lot of these kids were working jobs to help provide for their family following the fire. And they've seen the fire, they've seen COVID, they've been through a lot of ups and downs. So talk to us about when you stepped in, what you kind of focused on off of the football field to get the success on the football field. There's been so many hardships in this community um, that have really challenged you know families and especially athletes who have to give that commitment we're talking about because part of giving commitment is giving time and time is something that's not available for every athlete and every family um, I just think trying to raise the level of standards was a really big part of what we're trying to do I'm just trying to be a little more accountable for the things that you can control that's been big for us trying to teach our kids to live up to a better behavioral standard and then as we get onto the field you know trying to live up to a, a higher performance standard and so those two standards I think have helped us transition from a culture that has been sort of really um you know, sort of nonchalant and not, not committed to the process and to a program that really believes in a process and knows that that process gives them a chance to be successful on Friday nights. So we're going to get into some fun questions now because okay. we got to learn who Coach Hall is <laughs> outside of football. <laughs> so Coach, when you're not at the football field, what are you mm, doing? That's a good question. That's really all that we've known Coach you have, and that's, just on the football that's... field. And I'm not going to lie to you, Coach, when we first stepped on the field, <laughs> you were hard to us and we respected it. We gained some respect. 
respect. No, we did. You were you told us the way, and we yeah. said okay. Yep, take I it over. I love every and, second of yeah, it. Yeah, mm -hmm. and we've we've run from that, so yeah. we do really appreciate yeah, well, that. Well, thank you. Yeah, of course. Um, back to the question. Back, back, to back to you. I mean, you know, this is one of those things where you know this profession is so demanding. You know, on yourself and on your families especially. You know, my wife, she loves, you know, she loves our, our, the garden and our yard and things like that, you know, so I, I try to help her as much as I can. I probably don't do enough, you know, but I, I do spend time doing those kind of things, you know. We've got an immaculate yard at our house and I, on a lawn, and it's all credit to my wife, you know. I'm kind of the, you know, she, she does all the, the raking. I'm the one that picks it all up, and, you know, she does all the pruning, and I, I'm the picker-upper, you know, so I don't, have a, I don't have an artistic job in the garden part of it, but I'm kind of that laborer that, that picks things up, and that's fine. You know, I, I try to help out where I can there for the most time. One last question, Coach. When you look, you reflect back on your career, what is something that kind of makes you emotional in a good sense? You know, I get emotional after every season because I just see the sort of the fruits of your labor as you see, you know, young boys or men, you know, graduate and move on. And you're really just grateful to have that time in their lives. And you just hope that you had some kind of positive impact in what they were doing. Um, I think that's that's important to me to be able to have that sort of reflection as they leave the program and move on. Last but not least, we need a Go Pirates from you. Let's go. Go Pirates. <laughs> Yay!